Hi, welcome to SCM Connections demonstration how to create forecast error in inventory optimization using IBP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to better manage inventory from an improved forecast demand in IBP. By the end, you will have a better understanding of how to create a planning view, change data, and run inventory forecast error in IBP. Before we get started, I would suggest understanding the basics of both SAP's IBP toolset and IBP inventory. You can check out any of our videos on YouTube, for instance, IBP inventory the basics and demonstration beforehand to get up to speed. Now let's get started. So make sure you are logged into the proper planning area once you get into Excel. After you've logged in, go to new view from template. The template I have picked to use is one that SAP provides. It's called Inventory Optimization Input Data Review. Here you can fix the time settings. I'm just going to stick to weeks, and in bold, they put the current week. The thing I like is that you can change the planning level. You can get rid of any attributes you don't want on this side, or select ones you do want here. The ones on the right are the ones that are currently picked. I'm just going to leave them how they are. You can also change the key figures, but I'm also going to keep the ones that they already have. I just want to change the filter. So I'm going to type in location. And I'm also going to add product ID. You can also use the drop down arrow if you cannot remember what it's called or if you find that easier. And in this scenario, we are inspecting four different products. These are the ones that I've decided to select and at one location. And for this instance, we're doing distribution center at Hong Kong. Press OK. So once you've got that loaded, you can see that there's no chart showing and that's just because I have changed the location ID. So I'm just going to filter with that. And this is going to edit whatever the chart is showing. And as you can see, it's showing product ID IBP 100. As you can see, it is up to date with the um, numbers here. Um, I'm just going to show you what the data looks like now before we run anything so you can see how it changes. So at the end on the current week, it shows the current I, uh, inventory optimization historical forecast error. So for this scenario, I'm going to change the demand forecast to be 186 for the first four weeks. And as you can see, they're blue right now. That means they are not saved. And if you were to hit refresh, they would go back to the original data. So I'm just going to press save so that it stays. Once that's done loading, you can see that it is no longer blue. That means it is saved. And we can go ahead and run our forecast error. Once you get here, you pick Inventory Optimization Forecast Error in, at base version and press Next and Run. So now that it's finished running, you can check to see how it's going. Press Forecast Error and see you can see it's finished. Now we're going to refresh the data, make sure everything is up to date. And I'm going to check to see how the historical forecast error is looking. And as you can see, it is better. It's gone from the 0.72 to the 0.7.